This whole intersection between evolutionary theory and computer science, there are a lot of reasons to do it. And sometimes what you're interested in is mimicking evolution for the sake of understanding evolution. But the main thing that we got this prize for was stealing the ideas from evolution in order to solve problems that we just want to solve, right? And, and the fact that we're using evolution is just because evolution happens to be the most powerful problem-solving method that we know about. You're trying to solve some problem. You don't know exactly how to solve it, but you have an idea of what the ingredients are of a solution. Uh, but there's too many trillions of combinations to look at them all. So you'll look at a random couple thousand quickly on a computer. Select those that are a little bit better and then produce variations of those. Mutate them, recombine them with each other, and then you select the better ones again. And all of this, the variation and the selection can happen without human intervention on the computer. And most people think about this just like when they think about in biology, they think, well, that's not very powerful. How could random variation and selection get you anywhere really interesting. It turns out it does. The very simplest ideas from, from Darwinian uh, evolutionary theory are more powerful than intuitively they would seem to be. And just that idea of random variation and selection, if you do enough of it, which you can do, even a desktop computer these days, you can do enough of it that you can do things that people haven't been able to figure out how to do in other ways. I do a, a projects of a completely different kind as well, but in this work I view myself as uh, a guy with a tool kit that has evolution in it, right? And I'm coming to people who are experts in other areas of science and engineering and saying, you got a hard problem that you don't know how to solve, that it would be really good for us to solve? This, this evolution toolkit, mostly automated, takes some smarts to figure out how to apply it. My students can do it too. You know, this is a emerging discipline, how to apply it. Uh, we may be able to apply evolution to your problem. But it, it almost always takes interdisciplinary co collaboration. And one of the exciting things about Hampshire is that people are mixed together across disciplines. It's not just computer science students who are in my classes. If they were, they uh, may not see how to apply these things in different areas.